night guys welcome back for my last live of the day and the week actually because I won't be back till Monday so our last move of the day is Nala Serval Nala is going to be moved closer to Hutch and Ginger and then after her current cage gets completely cleaned up and fixed up I believe the last thing I heard was that Flint would be going there, but he will not be moving today. It's Nala moving today. So same deal, we have Nala over in her lockout. He's not my biggest fan, so I'm not going to get too close, but I am going to come right here. You can see her hanging out in her lock out there. Nala was the last serval in this area besides Pharaoh, because it's all bobcats now. Well, and hybrids. So Nala's going to move down and be neighbors with Ginger and Alethea and Hutch. Yeah, I know. I was just like <laughs> thinking about that. Yeah, no. F have have we tested Flint on 4x4? I don't know if we have or not yet. Of course, we're not going to move. Oh, there goes Dryden. <laughs> it's like, I'm out of here. Like Dryden can go. <laughs> Out of here. Come on, sweet girl. Come on, sweet girl. Lauren's grabbing some two by fours over there because we can slowly start slipping them into the back of the lockout to kind of push her forward a little bit.
All right, so the interns that we're in to help carry are coming out so they can help grab some more boards. We do this a lot with um, the vets uh, as well. It helps with vaccines. So you can create a smaller space, um, almost like a homemade squeeze gauge, if they won't go into the squeeze gauge. That's what Kath just said. This is why Nala has never been on Funcation, is because she won't load up. But today there's really no choice because she's going to a whole new enclosure permanently. So it's not about moving for Funcation, it's about moving in general. <laughs> uh, yeah, technically she will be off the tour path because she'll be behind Ginger and Hutch. You may be able to see her through their enclosures, but she won't be directly on the tour path. But Honestly, she's usually not out doing much anyway, so this will at least put her in the same section with all of the other servals. And again, once we get this enclosure cleaned up and all spruced up, then Flint will be moving over here and then he will be on the tour path because right now he's not super visible on the tour path and he really enjoys people, so. <laughs> Show you guys a sneaky Nabisco real quick. Hi, Biscuit. Are you are you wiggling your butt? You wiggling? You gotta get that all cleaned up, and then you'll have a new neighbor, a new Bobcat neighbor. Huh? Flint's gonna be your neighbor. This is Nabisco Bobcat. Perfect little statue. All right, mister. I'm gonna go out the side gate over here. They're gonna put Nala onto the back of um, the cart that they have. And she's gonna be moving right over here. So 
people are loading her up over there. Bye, Meester. Bye, Meester. <laughs> oh, he's so silly. Dee Dee, we're moving your girl. Nala Serval is moving a couple enclosures down. She's going to be... I always refer to it as Fluffy's Cage. Fluffy Serval was in there when I first started. Hi. Are you watching? This is Zukari. Hi. Zukari is also a Serval. You watching Nala go to a different home? <laughs> so we'll walk on down here. Nala is going to move right behind Hutch and Ginger, kind of in the middle, also with Alethea. And there goes Ginger. Ginger's like, see ya. Ginger's like, <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. She's like, bye bye. Uh -huh. Gigi, you're getting a new neighbor. She's like, nope, I'm not falling for that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not falling for that. <laughs> We trying to get her one way or the other when she goes out? Um, we're gonna go in this way, so okay. she'll run that way. So this enclosure is way bigger than what she was just in. She's also going to be uh, next to Des on the other side. So, all the servals in an area. So, Jamie just has to do a perimeter check and check all the doors. All the doors and locks. This enclosure has been worked on for the last couple of weeks, so lots of people in and out fixing platforms and doors and raking, even though the leaves continue to constantly fall. <laughs> She's got all new dens with hay. All of her lockouts have fresh dirt. Platforms have been scrubbed. I think she's got like Three platforms, at least five dens, five or six dens. A lot happening. A brand new Kuluru. Yeah. Yeah, there's one spot on this side that's a little bit more cracked, but yeah, it's just a couple cracks. They're referring to that concrete den over there. Okay. She's gonna come on over. It's a much larger enclosure. It'll be exciting. Plus, she'll get other serval neighbors instead of being surrounded by bobcats. <laughs> We're gonna come down here because I don't want her to come out of there and be all mad. Actually, we'll go on this side. So they're gonna put her up to that door there.
Good job. Yeah, she's walked right past the hole in the wall twice. <laughs> she hasn't found that door yet? No. She goes right by it. I bet if I walk around that other side, she'll run. I've always wanted her to be my friend, and she won't. <laughs> so you can see Ginger's back here. Hi, Nala. It's okay. There's Ginger. And Hutch came over. Seeing their new neighbor, which is Nala, right over here. There's a whole other section you can go to. Mm-mm. So Trevor and Nisha are going to work on um, getting her fresh water in all of her bowls. What do you think, Nala Bean? <laughs> I want her to find the tunnel. There's a tunnel right there that she hasn't figured out that she can go down. And it would lead her to a whole other section. Look, there's a tunnel! I know, you don't understand because there's no door. She'll figure it out. <laughs> she runs right by it though. <laughs> yeah, I think the one from Ginger comes over here. Look, Nala. Look, you can come right through here. Yeah, there you go. Yay! She figured it out. Oh, I don't know. Every cat here has somebody out here that they just absolutely hiss or roar or yell at. Nala's always hissed at me to the point of hurt feelings. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Good job, Nala Bean! All right, well, she figured it out, so we're going to let her settle in. They're working on getting all of her water bowls. She's got like one, two, three, yeah, three lockouts, so they'll all need fresh water. Des is in the enclosure directly behind her in that direction. <laughs> and then over here... Ginger and Hutch, which we'll say hi to super quick, but then I am signing off. This is my last live of the day. We've had five. Hi, baby girl. I know. We're not going to hospital. Hutch! Did you get a new neighbor? Did you get a new neighbor? Did you get a new neighbor? Oh, boy. What do you guys think? What do you think? New girl neighbor? Oh boy. Oh boy. Nope, there he goes. It's Ginger a little like, what's happening? 
All right, well, we're gonna let all of them settle in. I'm gonna go back down and check in on Shiloh, who moved to Funcation. Go to dailybigcat.com and you can rewatch all five of the lives today. The playlist that is Q&A Brittany at dailybigcat.com. You'll see Kimpa and Kali, Armani with a really cute jinx moment. Can't miss that one. And then we just moved Shiloh onto Funcation for the first time ever. And now Nala is in a new home and we'll get her current home all cleaned up and then hopefully somebody will be moving into that very soon. Right, everybody, thank you so much for all the donations today. 100% of that goes to the cats. And I will see you guys next week. You're being awfully quiet, sir.